So, I got a thing today. Welcome back, Ink Chasers, to another TTM Mel Day video. And, um, get stuff in the Mel Day video as well. <laughs> um, as you see, I am wearing a Reindeer Studio shirt. So I got my winning care package from uh, Scott over at Reindeer Studios. Got this lovely shirt. He also sent a pack of vintage baseball repack. I will have not opened this yet. Um, and he sent over a uh, Gaylord Perry rookie card. Very nice. Thank you very much, Scott. You did not have to send that. I think it's maybe a little poke at the bear type thing since um, Gaylord has still not sent me back my Keebler card. The other one I sent, he sent the other card back. I know I wouldn't get in it. I sent it, I bought a new card, sent it again, hadn't got it back yet. Alright, before I get into the mail, let's go ahead and open this up and see what, what we got here. Alright. Looks like a 86 Tops Cal Ripken. This is a 79, I believe, Tops Lubrock Record Holders. A 69 Catfish Hunter. Um, 77 Tops Bruce Sutter. I know a lot of these. Actually, I think the only one I, I might have is the Ripken, but none of these other ones I have. 76 Tops Billy Williams as an A, you know, A's legend Billy Williams. Um, I don't know the year on this one, but it's got, it's a Ron Santo, somebody I'm sure can let me know, I will, will look it up, otherwise, 1983 Tops Tim Raines, I can send that off to him for sure, what is this, is a 1988 Pacific card, Joe DiMaggio. You know, this might be the only Joe DiMaggio card I have. I don't know that I have anything from him. 88 to uh, not Tops. Fleer. Barry Larkin. And an 83 Tops All Star. Reggie Jackson. Very nice. Thanks again, Scott. You, uh, really, the shirt was enough. <laughs> now, Knocking everything over. All right. Along with that, I uh, have a few pickups. One, which I will share to the end. Yes, you have to wait to the end. Trust me, you will want to see what's at the end. But I picked up a few things. I guess Scott was reading my mind because I also got a Gaylord Perry. 76 tops when I didn't have of him as a ranger and a um, 72 tops Lenny Randall so it means I only have one top card uh, for the 72 tops rangers that I don't have yet I'm just missing the one all right let's get into some TTMs all right so first one here we'll start off with a little hit the deck return we have a seven of spades come back from none other than Joe Theismann, who was, oh, I'm backwards, number seven. All right, next up, come, oh, that came back to one of one in 14 days with his $5 donation. Um, this one's coming back three of three in eight days. The 1976 Tops, Dave Motes. And 
1977 tops, Dave Motes. And a 1993 Kilo Cookie Card. All right, next up. Coming back four four in eight days. Now he does charge three dollars a card. So you can do the math if you want. But a seventy nine tops Ken Henderson. Nineteen eighty tops. Nineteen seventy eight tops. And 93 Cuba Cookie Card. I did count them up. These two bring me up to 126 signed Cuba Cookie Cards. That is not uh, counting the customs. That's just from the basic uh, set that I've got. Um, all right. Let's get to the big boy. I guess you say this is the most I've spent on any one single card. I have spent more on like a collection or like, you know, a lot of cards or whatever. But this is the most I've spent on one card. And I'm going to need your help with making a decision. I've kind of got my mind made up, but I'd like to hear what you guys think. But first I'm going to show this off. Um, let me take it out of the top loader here so it's easier to see on screen this is for my rangers pc coming back i don't know i bought it so it's not coming back just used to saying that but it is a 1972 tops ted williams it is in a dark spot there's not a whole lot of light spot. Let me see if I can move my light around. There we go. It's a little better to see. Right there. And it came with a letter of authentication from Beckett. Right there's a little Beckett sticker for it. Now what I'm thinking about doing, I don't see what you guys think, and I know I've got heard it from a few other people as well already. Um, talk a little bit with Brandon Stebbins about this. I'm thinking about sending this in with Beckett because Brandon was telling me that it's only ten dollars if it's already got a, been authenticated, which I've got the letter for it. So getting it slapped that really messes with my life. Anyway, so let me know what you think down below. Should I send this in to Beckett? I would hate to lose it in the mail or whatever. Um, since I just got it. But um, I think that right now it's just a loose card. I would hate for something to happen. I mean, with with it, to it, whatever. Um, so let me know what you guys think. But I think, um, I think I may end up going ahead and sending this to Beckett. Get it slabbed. Just to have in the collection to give it that little extra protection to it. Um, other than that, let me know down below about anything else you saw today. <laughs> and as always, like, comment, subscribe, and thank you for watching.